Greetings, fellow associates. It is I, Dr. Goto. And today I am going to show off my ridiculously large working ink pen that I have made. It is marvelous. Yes, come over here, you press the button, and it pushes it in the end. Then inside, ink, it's all the way down over to the end here. Yeah, it starts clicking out. And then we come back all the way to the end. Probably should have made an easier switch to get over there. There's the end in again. And everything should be stopped clicking. And the tip is drawn back in. This is the different modules it houses. Because that's pretty complicated to keep track of. So this is the part that clicks in and out. This is the ink cartridge part that stores the ink, which is a bunch of squids that get killed and the ink runs down here to the end and into the chest. Mainly it's squids because, you know, you get three inks per squid, so it's a lot more than you would have normally been able to dispense. Here we go, one, uh, as soon as it finishes lagging out. And if they die before they get to the end, the ink still travels across the ice. Otherwise they sit here on the end. And then when they die, their ink immediately falls in here. After that, the ink inside the pen goes over into a series of hoppers and whatnot to get to this dispenser, which is given a little bit longer of a rounding uh, time clock. Yeah. But yes, it's given a pulse to continually spit out ink these carts take it down to the end into this one and this dispenser is actually this guy who upon clicking dispenses ink let's put it back in there now I can show you the inside oh, through so this is the front of it it's all connected up here. This is the dispenser at the end. Dropper. Okay, it still spits out stuff. Eerie music. Okay. Anyway. These are the pen tip. Double piston extender, although for some reason it's not tracked all the way. Oh well. But this is the track. It goes all the way down. Right here where it, all the carts stop, get back in position. All the carts sit here. This is apparently filled. I will just delete that then. It spits out more than they can uh, take at a shot. But that's the dispenser. This is the clock down here. Now this is split up so that the clock signal goes into here which connects into this guy and its dispensers and then also goes all the way down to the end and connects to that final dropper dispenser set down there. But it also branches off this which is the solid signal which just turns stuff on which turns on these guys so that the carts can start rolling and it also goes down and turns on the pistons at the end. And this is just a simple little clock down in there. Uh, the reason these the ice here is signed off is because it kept melting on me, and the water was obviously annoying. This is a toggle switch with a sticky piston, so it just gets a one tick pulse when you push the button. When you push the button, it activates all these, and the pistons on the other side comes in here, activates this, which dr leaves the block here, which keeps the signal going, keeps all this running, and yeah pretty simple ish if you understand the basic red zone. Sometimes you get ink stuck like that but you know majority of the squids make it so let's get back out of here I came up with the idea yeah, minus the sign the sign just says where the button is but I was writing yesterday and I 
noticed that my pen said Skillcraft and like heh Minecraft reference. And then a little bit, kept writing, you know. And then a little bit later it's like, huh, I wonder if I could make a pen in Minecraft. Design's a little flawed, uh, not exactly a straight end, but I think it I think it looks good. Yeah. So I'll put that link for this thing and these four modules here in the description so that you can I don't know what you would do with it, but you know, whatever. If you're interested in the redstone, you can have a look at it. Otherwise, you can just have it to posterity or reasons. I don't know. So that's it. That's been the brief tour of the large ballpoint pen. And that is all for today. So I will see you later and may the tests continue. Take care of me